Hey everybody, it's Joy here. Welcome to episode 9 of Fairstead. I'm very excited today because we are going to purchase another square and build our first industry on this island, which I'm really excited about. Okay, all right. Um, the first thing I would like to do is really think about a road layout. I'm thinking about a fun kind of windy road all the way around the island. And then of course creating the farm in the middle. And then I have an idea for a town I want to put on the very end of this island. Um, I think I want to use this two-lane country road. Which seems to be a favorite of mine so far. <laughs> um, okay. Let me... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go all around the outside. And just kind of... Just a, an enjoyable country road basically around the whole island. So back to Frederick Law Olmsted while I'm doing this road. Um, in 1848, which was six years before he really kind of got into landscape architecture, his father bought him a um, piece of land on Staten Island, a farm. It was already a, an established farm, but it was, according to Olmsted, like not well designed and um, unimaginative because the farmer was just growing wheat. <laughs> so he bought the farm and he like moved the location of the barn and just did all these things. He redid the, the driveway to... Um, like fit with the to topography of the land and just really had a different vision um, when looking at these things, which of course led to, you know, what he ended up doing. Um, I definitely want to put a bridge over here. Let me see. Um, where's that small four lane road? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Anyway, um, on his, um, farm in Staten Island, he, um, he did, sorry, just trying to... I think I just want to go straight across. Yeah. So on his um, farm on Staten Island, um, again, like I was saying, the the person before was just growing wheat, which Olmsted thought was like very unimaginative. So he actually um, did. Uh, let's see, I think it was, sorry, trying to <laughs> do two things at once. Okay. Um, back to what I was saying. So he, um, uh, did corn and cabbage, um, peaches and plums, um, and he even won some like competitions for some of his fruit, which I thought was, you know, he's clearly a person who <laughs> wanted to exceed at whatever he tried to do. Um, the other really cool thing that he did was not only did he want to like have a good farm for himself, um, his fruit trees, he actually created a nursery on his farm and sold um, trees to other farmers, which I thought was um, really unique. All right, I'm trying to get a nice smooth. There we go. I think that works. 
Okay. All right, we'll do, make sure we have giveaways set up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it that way. Okay. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is work on the area where I want to have this little town that's gonna support the farming community. So let me see what I can do. Okay, um, all right, let me want to get rid of these trees for now. I'll put trees back later. I just want to work the clean slate. Where is the, here it is, okay. Perfect, okay of all these trees. All right, there we go. Okay, and then I want to soften this ridge a little bit. Here we go. Well, that's much nicer. And you noticed I used two different keys. I did that on purpose because over that side, that's where I'm envisioning, I'm going to put future fairy and I don't want um, people walking through the keys. So that's why I switched that up. Okay, uh, this is going to be the entrance to our town and the entrance to our farm. And I kind of had an idea I wanted to try with roundabouts. Get this water out of here first. Come on. Um, the other interesting thing that happened to Frederick Law Olmsted when he had his farm on Staten Island is one of his neighbors was actually William Henry Vanderbilt. And Olmsted, you know, he came and made so many changes to the farm, you know, and just really made it a beautiful place. And so William actually hired him to do something to their farm, like very similar. And so at that time, you know, Olmsted was not an, a landscape architect. The term hadn't even, you know, he hadn't even coined the term yet, but that was technically like his first job. And the cool thing is that led to like, that was probably like a really important connection for him to make because then he ended up designing a lot of things for the Vanderbilts, um, including the um, Biltmore Estate, which is in Ashland, North Carolina. So uh, connections are important. You never know who you're gonna meet where. So something to keep in mind. All right, um, I'm gonna try to put this idea together uh, I had in my head. So let me see what I can do.
trying to get all of my paths put in ahead of time. Okay, and then I think one more over here. This road laid out, layout turned out a little funky, but I kind of like it. I think it'll work. I have a really fun idea that's going to be like the, the highlight of this town. Minus the farming industry, but should be fun. I'm excited for it. Um, okay, let me paint a district here because... We have a new theme to play with. I got the University City and I think it's going to look really nice in this area. Just exactly what I want. So I'm excited for that. And I also want to take a look at our policies as well. So let's go in here. Themes. Okay. Um, okay. Enable university city very cool okay um i know i want schools out oh and you know what we need our biking can't believe i didn't set that before um is there anything else oh you know i think this workers union would make sense as well Okay, I am going to work on the road layout for our farming district. So, let me see what I can do there. Okay, so services, I picked up, um, where would this be? Um, oh, maybe it is under, I picked up two things that I thought I could use in this area for now. One was this little tiny pumping zone. Again, I saw City Planner using this, so... <laughs> Had to give it a try. And I think for now, just. And I see it doesn't have to be attached to any road anywhere, but I kind of want to make sure it's next to a road. Let's see if I can straighten this out a bit. I just, I really enjoy building small towns, so I like that the workshop has these smaller assets that are good. Okay, so this is the other thing I found. I don't know how this works, but supposedly it takes recycles and turns them into power. So I'm hoping we can use that as our um, power as well. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that was really expensive. Ooh, well. <laughs> It's done. Okay, so let's hook this up. And I hope this thing works. It's still... Hmm. I don't know. I might need like an actual source of power. All right. Well, I do some water pipes first here. All right, well, maybe this needs garbage to actually produce power, which would make sense, so. Um, let me go ahead and get our zoning filled in. Um, 
before I go any further, I need to remember sewage. So let's get water treatment plant. Mm, I think I'm going to, yeah. Let's actually move this little guy. So I want to put my water treatment plant in this little spot. So let's move. Where do I want to move you? Okay, put you up there for the moment. And then we will get our sewage treatment. Let's fix this water pipe. And then get you connected in. Okay. All right. Back to zoning. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to work until it's operating, which means I think we actually need another power source. This is not going to work unfortunately the way I wanted it to. It's really a cute little asset though. I think I just might have to use it another time because everyone needs power here. So we're gonna get rid of that. It was a lot of money spent. <laughs> Okay, you gotta try things out. Okay, let's just do some wind turbines. Yeah, let's go out on this little, little spot out here. Just so we can get things moving because I guess I really didn't need to delete that because it was a lot of money, but it's done. <laughs> oh well, okay. Now let's get power to our new homes. Okay. Um, no, I don't think I want to add any more zoning right now. I'd like to focus on our farming industry. We can remove these roads from the middle here now. And then we can paint our industry area. Okay, now I want to paint in our park area. I have a very specific idea in mind for the park system in this area. And the um, park area on this island is gonna be pretty large. We cover a large area. But I'm really excited about what I wanna create. Okay, um, let's grab that bit and then we're gonna go up the middle. And then also we're gonna come make sure we grab the start of those paths there. 
and all the way around. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna back this up a little bit because I want our park area to be able to touch top of these industry roads. Make sure this is all one park. Sometimes it's annoying how it will split into two. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's get a little bit of power up here. All right, and let's get everybody happy. Okay, now we can slow this back down. Okay, I wanna get our main forestry or um, farming building in here. All right, here we go. And I'm going to center this right on this little, yeah, mm, no, yeah, I'm going to go with my original idea. Let's try to center that to the roundabout. Yeah, that's going to look really cool. I'm excited about that. Okay, I want to think about some shops, um, and before we do that, let's, I want to do the organic and local produce here. Um, all right, and then let's fill in, don't need a lot, but just want to put in a little bit along this main little edge through town here. I think that'll be good. Just a little something. Okay, time to get our farm going so we can make some money. Bring these straight up. All right, so we've got our small crop fields, which I think should fit back to back. Yes, haha, love that when that happens. I didn't even measure that out. I'll have to remember that for next time I build a farm because that was actually perfect. Okay, so I want to change these up, make sure we've got some variety. So we're going to do corn. Okay, wheat. And wheat. Okay, potatoes. Potatoes. Yes, I know you need water. We're getting there. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we just need one, two of each. I did two of each on my, um, last city I built and it worked really well so do that again okay great all right and then I think yeah kind of want a 
bypass road. That will be where our storage is. So I want to help manage the traffic in this area. So let's get our silos. And I think space them out. Yeah, and we'll put two on each side. Oh, well. <sighs> we need our farm to make us some money. <laughs> All right, well, we'll add that once we have a little bit more money. Okay, um, I do want to think about a little traffic management in this area. So let's do some giveaway here. Mm. Actually, I think I want to change up those roads. Maybe create a one or like a one way system. All right. Let's, I think just a small road will work for now. And then I can always upgrade it later. But I can. All right, and then let's connect this midway through. Yeah, I think that should work well for traffic. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll let that start working and hopefully make us some money soon. Well, let's head back over to our little town here and see how we're doing. What part of this is filled in, although our demand is high. Oh, here we go. Here come the cars. People go into their new homes. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Okay, let's actually check on. Yeah. I just got to give this time to do its thing. All right, so I think the other thing I want to do is think about a second connection to this island. So I want to continue our highway diet over here. All right, let me downgrade. Um, yeah. To here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Make this our national road, and then we are going to delete all of you down to here. Okay. Okay, now I need to merge these together. Let's see. 
I need to go down to a two lane and then merge into, um, okay, if I bring this back, and then I need to upgrade another segment here, I think so. And then, okay. And then hook that in. All right, and then we have this asymmetrical highway, which is perfect for this. And let's just make sure everyone's going where they're supposed to. Okay, um, you're gonna go here or there. Oh, did I do this right? Um, think, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Use the right roads. Okay. You can go here or here. Yep. And then you each get your own lane coming in. And then everyone's merging from two to three or from three to two. I think that'll work. Okay, now I'm going to build my third interchange. Okay, um, just hook you in there, and let's do a little traffic management here. All right, um, wonder, should I find, I think there is an asymmetrical tree lined yep let's use it because i think not anytime soon but potentially this could get busy um let's go ahead yeah let's just continue that all the way to our little rural highway road that goes around the island okay now everyone can have their own place to go. You can go there. You can go here. To go there. And then you get to go there. Okay. And then I think. Should we put a light here? Yeah, why not? This road is too small though, and I think it's it's gonna cause problems later on. So I think I'm going to do the very unrealistic thing <laughs> and change our loop road slightly just to give more room. Okay, now that we have that connection made, I want to think about some city services for our little town here. 
because we're just not growing and I think that will end up helping a lot. So let's take a look. That's another reason I'm so glad we have these smaller assets because they are so much more affordable and we are very broke right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in our little medical clinic. We'll do our little rural fire station. We'll definitely need a bigger one later on, but um, yeah, we'll put you on the corner and then our little tiny police station. Where do I want to put you? Yeah, maybe out here. I get so indecisive with these things. Okay. And then, of course, we need an elementary school, but I'm going to use our little church. Where do I want to put you? Yeah. Let's go here. And then, do we have enough money for... Um... Running low on funds, but we're making it work. Okay. Um, right, we've got zoning there. Let's get this power hooked up. Okay, and while we're waiting for things to come in, I want to think ahead for traffic, and I think I want to rework this area a bit. I have some ideas, so let me see what I can do here. Okay, I think this is going to work the way I think it will, but let's do some figuring out who's going to go where because I think that will help my brain with this. So I think I did this right, but <laughs> let's see. All right, so you... Hmm. No, you're just going to come under here. Yep, so you'll go under there. And then you are just going straight. Yeah. And you are just either going straight or getting on the freeway that way. Okay, then let's do... The same here. So I don't know why this scrambles my brain. Okay. So you're gonna go there. You're gonna go straight only. Yeah. And then you are going to go 
straight and left. Yeah. That gets everyone where they need to go. Yeah. I think that's right. We'll see. <laughs> that's the one fun thing, one of the fun things about this game. Just, you know, <laughs> figuring out where you messed up earlier with causing traffic. So I think that'll work out well. Okay, let's check on our farm. How are we doing? Okay. Just need more time. Okay, we're gonna name this Cushing Island Farms. And our other area you might have noticed is Cushing Shores, our little seaside town there. And Cushing Island is actually a private owned island um, just outside of like uh, Portland, Maine. Um, and there's only about 45 families that live there. Yeah, we just need our production level up. We'll get there. Anyways, of course, uh, Cushing Island was um, one of, um, yeah, well, let's add another. We need more power. Um, another one of his projects, he was hired um, to design it. It was, um, like a summer resort island and it had a hotel originally. I think it was used for military stuff at one point too, but, um, yeah. So we're going to be, this is Cushing Island. Okay. Hmm. Still need to get this town filled in. I do want to think about our park system too. I think this is going to, I'm really excited to actually get this island filled in because I like have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like. But we need much more money. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, okay. Let me get some more, um, zoning in here. are so close to our next milestone which means money which we desperately need yeah we're right there we're right there let's speed this up oh and you're just gonna keep fluctuating back and forth okay well while that's running, let's go ahead and do a little bit more traffic management. Oh yeah, because I don't want that happening. Oh yes, we made our next level on our farm. Very excited. What I really want is a few more people though. All right, and then over here, Yep, so you can go there or there, and you can go here, and you can go here. Yeah. Yeah, just letting this run so we can hopefully make our next milestone. Um, yeah, that thing is so expensive. I regret buying that. Let's, um, 
No, I do not want to use that. Well, let's get a recycle center in here because we are going to need some sort of garbage in this area. Okay, and I do think I want this farm entrance to be a little grander. I think I'm going to add another road straight on. I think that'll help when I get to detailing. Okay. And let's get some traffic management. <gasps> Big town. Yes. Finally, we're not broke anymore. We can do some things. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And we have leisure. Yes. That is great. I'm really excited about that. Okay. What was I doing? Oh yeah. Some traffic management here. Um, make sure I take off that. If I can just reset this up with that. Yeah. There we go. That should do the trick. There we go. All right, now that we have money, we can continue to build out our farm to help us make money. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got our um, crop fields we did. Now I wanna do the fruit fields. I want to do the same thing. Um, make sure we get a variety in. So two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Well, that's going to annoy me that they are not even. Okay. Oranges, pears. Oh yeah, there's just three of those. Yeah. Let me fix that. I mean, I guess you could count the greenhouse as one, but apples, apples. apples. So we'll do mostly apples. And then let's get some water up here. And I've got to move these because they're just going to severely annoy me otherwise. Okay, that's better. Um, now I want to think about storage and I'm going to put one of these small barns, barns on each side. All right, here we go. And then just push out this industrial area smidge. There we go. All right, now I need to continue my road network here. So I'm gonna frame out these fields. If I can. Uh. 
<clears throat> Me and Rhodes. One day. Okay. There we go. And then I want to continue our one-way network, but I'm going to switch up the directions of the road to get it going the other way. And I think ultimately that should really help with traffic too. Okay. All right, now I want to add in our farm animals. So here's our yep, small pasture. So do the same thing up at the top here. Just gonna do one of each for the moment. Oh, we're already out of money again. Ay ay. All right, well, we can definitely get some water pipes up here, so let's do that. Am I doomed to be the forever broke town? Hopefully not. Hopefully this farming industry will make us lots of money. Um. Okay, now we can put that in. Okay, all right, so we've got sheep. And, yep, yeah, let's keep that one pigs. And then we'll do our regular cows and then our highland cows. Okay. All right. And we can't buy anything else right now. We're broke. That's fine. We'll get there. We will get there. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it for today. I'm really happy with the progress that we made. I'm really excited for the next episode because I have a lot of ideas for this island. So I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll see you next time.